Hey Rebel Razor, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. We're at episode number 1644 today and today it's our 2019 television preview. We've got two live action series in the works and a third series that's animated that will be either getting into production or actually getting onto screens in 2019 and so we're gonna run down the new news that we know about these particular series and yeah that's what our <laughs> our, our day is gonna be about so let's dig in first with the easy one which is that the Clone Wars saved series we still have no new information about that sucker other than it's going to be part of the Disney Plus streaming service when it debuts later this year in the later part of this year and still we know that it's 12 episodes we did a pretty detailed episode of the podcast last year about what story arcs we believe will be included in that whole thing the siege of mandalore of course seems like it is a, a definite for that and we can uh, talk about the other ones or we already talked about the other ones and so you know like head back and check that out in the feed at sw7x7.com and you'll find our full theories there as far as The Mandalorian goes, well, Jon Favreau's Christmas present to everyone was a picture of IG-88 on his Instagram feed, and it was set against a green screen backdrop. And so the question then becomes, well, does this mean that IG-88 is not a CGI character, that he might actually be a practical effect, that he might be walking around on the set of the Mandalorian that's kind of a surprising idea and yet you know it put me in mind immediately of a guy named Brian Herring who was running around behind BB-8 for many of the action scenes in The Force Awakens. I'm not sure if he was doing it for The Last Jedi 2. I think he was working on Porgs at the very least. So yeah there's definitely a case to be made for somebody attached to IG-88 wearing a giant green suit walking around going arr, arr, arr. and as far as IG-88 goes I'm put in mind of a, a story arc in the first Darth Vader comic series where uh, bounty hunters were being employed by Dr. Aphra, who now has her own series, but Dr. Aphra was actually working for Darth Vader. And IG-88 appeared in some of those issues and was used to some decent com uh, comedic effect. So the possibility of playing IG-88 you know, as a comedic foil to whatever is happening or at least having some you know comic value to the situation is a really intriguing idea to me and i yeah i i'm very happy about that naturally of course the fact that ig88 is showing up is making people ask about bosk and denger and all those other guys from the empire strikes back you know <sighs> bosk sure denger never been a fan personally but hey you know that's just me so <laughs> He <laughs> at least one other bounty hunter kicking around, and that in itself is pretty exciting news. And unfortunately, the audio for this, uh, you know, for the video clip for the thing I'm about to reference was a little bit watery, and so I'm not going to drop it on here. Instead, I'm just going to read the quote for you. But the gist of it is this that the Russo brothers, who of course, you know, are tied to the Avengers movies and whatnot, um, they were interviewed after the screening of Infinity War for a you know special Collider Q&A session. And one of the things that they ended up talking about was The Mandalorian. And Joe Russo, one of the Russo brothers, had this to say about their set visit to The Mandalorian. Speaking about John Favreau, Russo says, John is always at the forefront of cutting-edge tech. And he is shooting this in a way that no one has ever shot anything ever before. It's pretty astounding. Now, that's a pretty big boast, to be sure. But then again, when you consider what Jon Favreau did with The Jungle Book and what he's doing with The Lion King, you know, it's certainly possible that that we are not being sold too big of a bill of goods, that this is actually a legitimate statement that Joe Russo is saying. I'm not trying to say he's lying or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, there's you know, there's objective truth and there's hype and something in between. And I have a feeling this is probably something closer to objective truth than it is to hype. 
And that is pretty much the news that is available for The Mandalorian at this point. There is one announcement that's been made about the Cassian Andor series that we haven't talked about yet that was actually made on New Year's Eve. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. First of all, I just want to say, if you're not subscribing to this show, I hope you will consider doing so wherever you like to catch it. And I hope you will also consider supporting this daily dose of Star Wars joy by joining the community at patreon.com slash SW7X7. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash SW7X7. And lastly, for the Cassian Andor news, so Production Weekly, which is an industry you know source publication for all sorts of movie and television things that are actually happening, like industry trade stuff, is saying that the Cassian Andor series is going into production in October of 2019. So now we have something resembling a firm date for when this thing is getting into motion, and that, of course, means that we're looking at 2020 for an actual series debut. And based on an October start for the production date, that seems like we're pushing more to the latter part of 2020 than we are to the mid part if you will. So, yeah, unfortunately, means possibly a little longer wait than we might have hoped for for the Cassian Andor series, but hey, anytime we get it, as long as they've, you know, taken their time and given us the best that they can possibly give us, then that's all right by me. And that is going to do it officially for today's show. Again, thank you so much for joining me for it. And as always, may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. This podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. It is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademarks and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.